Hello everyone! It's nearly Halloween! Only a week to go. So this week I'm going to show you how to decorate. Now we're in a savanna which is a really good buy-in for decorating and if you hit F3 you can see with the with the coordinates just below that it says Minecraft savanna. Now it will also show you which direction you're pointing in. So at the moment we're pointing in north and now west and now south and now east and that's a really useful thing to know because sometimes when you do your build you want the sun setting behind you or in front of you and it, it's good to know that the east west counts in Minecraft as well for sunrise and sunset right so this is the village we're going to use and I'm just going to show you how you can do some simple decorations which are really effective. Huh. I like the way that the um, the wheat looks when it's fully grown because that's huh. really autumnal. So what we'll do is we'll pop in some farmland, we'll pop in our seeds and then we'll use the bone meal sorry forgot what it was then for a second um the bone meal to force it to fully grown and we'll do this all over we'll do this we'll dot it around we'll do blocks of three we'll do individual ones we'll pop this around all higgledy piggledy and just make it feel that little bit more autumnal the savannah feels autumnal already I like the colours for autumn. The orange of the houses and the and the sort of dull green of the grass. Right, so if you look here, we're facing west and we're watching the sun go down. And if you look here, we're facing east and we're watching the sun come up. So it's always good if you look halfway down, it's about halfway down it will tell you um, where the east and the west is. And that's the F3 button you press to bring up your coordinates. There's lots of useful information in there when it comes to building. Right, let's build an entrance to our village. We'll use some simple fence posts and we'll use a jack-o'-lantern with a light on. Huh. We'll put another post in on this side and then we'll join the two together and then we can put a sign in the middle because we've got hangy signs huh. now so we can hang a sign in the middle. We'll put another jack-o'-lantern here just to brighten up the way. Huh. The jack-o'-lanterns with the lights on are great, but sometimes with these things less is more. So mix them up when you decorate with the jack-o'-lanterns without the lights on and the ordinary pumpkins and even melon. So here we go, our signpost. Happy Halloween! And we can use some um, glow squid ink. There you go, to light it up. Glow and behold. <laughs> That's funny. Right, now I think we'll have some fires here. That's a little bit more dramatic. And I'll pop some trapdoors around the fires to contain them. You could use um, iron railings here if you wanted to make like a basket or you could use the, um, is it the jungle wood that looks like a basket as well? So you could use that. There we go. I think I'll open just this front side. So you can see the fire easier when you approach the village. 
So we're almost there. There's just one thing missing. Um, a little bit more decoration up there, I think. A little zombie head there and a zombie head over on that side. And if you pop it on at an angle, they'll look like they're facing inwards, which is really cool. So there's our entrance. I think that looks good. That looks spooky. Now we need to decorate the village. Um, so we want spider's webs. That looks good. Spider's webs are really good at night too because they're quite bright. Chain. Chain is always good. That's always sort of a scary material. And a jack-o'-lantern. And some of these unlit jack-o'-lanterns with a lit one on top. So that you're not sort of overdoing it. Yeah, skeleton head. Oh, we have to have a cauldron. That looks good, doesn't it? You can find these potions, the lingering potions. I'm going to use a green one, a red one, and a black one. And a pop of fire underneath there so that you've got smoke coming up through the cauldron. So when we pop a green potion in there, it looks really cool. And another lantern in the tree, because it's quite dark here. So let's brighten this area up. Does that look better? Yeah. And I like this sort of jelly block. It's um, the slime blocks. So I, I'm going to make an effigy of myself, I think. It's Halloween. I can finally come out and see the world. I'm going to make a huge jelly block <laughs> and then I'll chop and change the jelly block afterwards cover it in trapdoors there we go I'll have a jack-o'-lantern head a straw body Oops. ah that's good dragon's egg for a hat and some anvils for hands there, that looks like me. Nice big scary lump of jelly. Oh yeah, mustn't forget some hair. So I'll have really bushy, unruly white hair. Look. Gosh, it's like looking in the mirror. I'm not scary much. Right, and now some pumpkins and some melons. Will that make nice decorations. I think a bit of um, spider web in the tree, that will look cool. Just make sure that we got it all evenly spread around. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, we're going to need a grave, aren't we? It's Halloween, we're going to need a grave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little enclosure in and then we'll pop a grave in the centre. Ah. You can do this in all your villages and pop your little decorations around all over the place. So we'll have a, we can have a, um, a signpost again above the gateway into the graveyard some blue lights because they're spooky. R.I.P. for rest in peace. And then I'm going to use these lodestones. I like the noise they make when you place them. And they look lovely the way they've been chiselled. They look almost Celtic. And we'll put a cross in there to represent the grave. And some iron railings I think around the bottom. I've put some pod salt down. Is that pod salt? I think it is pod salt. Um, just in the grave area, what I'll do is I'll swap out the rest of it and put some grass back in. 
we'll decorate the cross with a creeper head in the middle. And then we'll use bone meal to get a more natural look to the grass and everything. And we'll pop these black roses in, look. And they give off like a little mist as well, which is really good. Really creepy. That's good, eh? I'll pop a little pathway in so we can get to it. And um, we'll come straight out and then we'll go all piggledy piggledy. And we'll join in both. That'll work. And there's some spider's webs just to finish it off. Yeah, that looks good. I'll pop some candles to brighten it up. One on each corner. Oh, and we mustn't forget Steve. We'll put his severed head here and some blood all around it. Yeah, that's scary. And I've built a scarecrow, and all I've done is three bales of hay, a couple of pumpkins, and some wooden posts. And for the head, I use the customary pumpkin lantern and I used um, bamboo trapdoors for the hat so just did it like that really simple and that marks the end of our main street and we'll just pop some extra decorations around in anywhere that looks a bit bare and we'll fill our pockets with our potions We'll put our jelly in the floor so it looks like a swamp and then we'll go and visit and then next week you'll have a really well decorated village for Halloween and you can invite all your friends and you can all carry these little potions around thank you everybody for watching I hope you use some of these ideas to decorate your village for Halloween next week and enjoy the little tour at the end. Take care.